I'm gonna show you how to prepare the cauliflower for the cauliflower toast. So this is a small cauliflower. It's about two pounds. I'm gonna take off all the greens. Don't wanna eat those. And just pull the rest off. Okay. So what most people do is they cut it right through the top. You end up with like a flat plane, which isn't very pretty. What I do is turn it over and cut out the core and then pull the florets apart. Four tablespoons of olive oil. This really needs a lot of olive oil. You'll see it just gets absorbed by the cauliflower. A little bit of red pepper flakes, like a quarter of a teaspoon. You don't want to burn people. <laughs> you just want a little underlying heat. Teaspoon of salt. Sprinkle it on. Just toss it together. To roast the cauliflower, I'll put it in a 400 degree oven, tossing it from time to time. And after 30 minutes, when the florets are tender and randomly browned, I'll take it out and let it cool. So the cauliflower's cooled, and then I'm gonna put it in a big bowl and add some really delicious things. First, I'm gonna add 12 ounces of room temperature mascarpone, which is really like cream cheese. It's Italian cream cheese, but it's a little richer. Six ounces of Gruyere. It's grated in long shreds. Just add the whole thing together. I've got four ounces of prosciutto. And what I'm gonna do is julienne it. I've stacked them all up. I'm just gonna put that right in. Just try and break it up so you don't get big pieces of prosciutto, just little shreds. And then salt and pepper, one teaspoon of salt. Now the thing about salting is you wanna salt all the way through, a little bit at a time, and half a teaspoon of pepper. And that way, things don't taste salty. They just taste perfectly seasoned. And then I'm gonna put a little nutmeg in, which is sort of classic when you make gratins, like with cheese. Just a quarter of a teaspoon. Gives it a little extra hit of flavor. Okay, I'm gonna toss it all together. This is why the mascarpone has to be room temperature, otherwise it won't mix in. I wanna make sure it's really well mixed. Next is the toast. So I took a big boule, like one of those big round breads, country bread, and it's got a firm texture. If you use like a white bread, it's just gonna be too soft and it won't hold the cauliflower. And I'm just gonna pile the cauliflower right on top of it. Okay, you wanna get lots of it on. Maybe a little sprinkle of paprika on it. Just give it a little color, a little heat. Okay, that's one. So that's all six cauliflower toasts. I'll put them under the broiler for about three minutes, watch them really carefully so they don't burn. Mmm, I can smell cauliflower and cheese. Oh, these look so good. They're like crispy on the top and all the melted cheese. Fantastic. So I'm gonna put them on a platter. I always do like a square platter if I have something with rounded edges. Just somehow it looks better. So I'm gonna put a few more things on top. A little fresh chive. I love to do this on the platter so the garnish kind of falls on the platter. You know what everything is. Parmesan cheese, a little spiciness. I mean, that really does make it look better. And a little sea salt. Wow, this looks amazing. I mean, that's a way to take a very lowly vegetable like a cauliflower and make it into something really luxurious and delicious. I think I may have to steal a little piece of cauliflower. Mmm, it's sweet, it's creamy, the cheese is amazing. You really can taste the chive. That's a delicious appetizer.